I'm going to use the moss camo near this fluorescent light to recharge Snake's stamina. While we wait, I'll illustrate how Metal Gear's boss fights emerge from recombinations of elements found previously in the series. The Fury's fight takes place in a level reminiscent of the machine gun kids from Metal Gear 1. Snake hid from a hail of bullets down long corridors, attacking the boss from the side with remote-controlled missiles. The same corridor design appears during the Fury's level, as seen here. MGS-1 applied the character design concept to Vulcan Raven, another heavy machine gun soldier whose Snake had to attack from the sides with remote-controlled missiles. Likewise, the Fury cannot be attacked head-on while he is attacking too. He has the weapon of the Fire Trooper from Metal Gear 1, and MGS-3 further connects him to Raven via cutscenes. Both Solid Snake and Naked Snake shield their faces from an intense elemental blast, one ice and the other fire, before facing down a powerful enemy with a two-handed weapon and an ammo pack on his back. Most Metal Gear bosses can be dissected this way. They're recombinations of old design elements, and they achieve the effect of being both novel and familiar at the same time.